Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We were doing some good stuff on the last episode. Our power coil's done in four days, but the big thing is that we cleared out that facility, dealt with the alien hunter, and learned that there is such a thing as unconscious, which can be raised, uh, or erased, I should say, by revival protocol. Which I was just ignorant of, for the most part. So now that we're back, um, we had some mild injuries, but not many. Not that few soldiers. We had some mild injuries, but not many, and the, the time, well, actually, there were many injuries, but the sum total of the days injured is not much. So I think what we're going to do quickly is just level up. Um, Roll Fizzle Beef should probably be a medic, even though I just made him into a hacker. He should probably be a medic, and then we'll have him learn medical protocol in addition to revival protocol, instead of having him go all the way down the wrong track. We'll have him go halfway or at least pivot over early and then get all these and then sure he's got combat protocol for some guaranteed damage it means he doesn't need to carry a frag or something and uh, I thought we had another unit that was leveled but apparently not we probably want to begin a covert action with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information well, that's very the nice of them to share that new information what about reducing avatar project progress that seems very positive. Soldier captured a moderate risk. I'll allocate the 25 supplies for that. We'll give a good soldier plus three will, and then we need a sergeant or greater. That's tough. That's tough. We got a lot of specialists. You know what? Roll fizzle beef. Go out on this. We can still have a low risk of a soldier being wounded, but this is almost like assaulting a facility in terms of what it does for the Avatar pro uh, Avatar Project's progress, but luckily we don't actually have to risk anything there. So I don't, this is going to take one off. I was hoping it might take two. I'm going to be honest. I was, I was hoping that we might be incorrect in that assessment, but that's okay. Um, we need a lot. We need intel. We need alloys. Uh for research purposes. We need to make contact with other sides, but we're going to start with intel. Well, I mean, they're not really, though. They're kind of caught in a holding pattern, Hunter. I wouldn't expect you to understand because I've dusted you on multiple occasions, but... So we're going to have a supply drop soon. We're also going to finish research in a moment here. They're not going to like this month. Uh, yeah, he said we've been mediocre. This scares me. Uh, didn't get much progress. Didn't get much progress. Ruka got a lot of progress, actually. They're working on scramble the Avengers radio signals, greatly increasing all scanning times. That's pretty bad. Gone to ground. Black market is closed. Not that bad. I'm not going to spend the intel because I don't have the intel. That's easy money. Um, and we got a lot of actions that can be added here now, so... I think, um, let's think. There's a chance that an advent unit will join the squad. That's a little weird. Not necessarily bad, but any shredding does an additional plus one shred. Unfortunately, only useful on units that have uh, armor, but still, I mean, against like the uh, the chosen, uh, not, not just the chosen, but the alien hunters, that could be good. Supplies collected from each supply drop are raised by 15. That seems... I mean, in the end, that looks really good, but what does that mean per supply drop? 20 supplies? Not bad. Not necessarily 10 out of 10. Kind of like the idea of extra power, but I doubt we're going to need it. Uh, so let's go for will recovery on this guy. And the idea there is uh, that that'll save us from s soldiers being tired as often. Hey, I don't know why the cats want to fight each other. You think it's Advent versus XCOM here. Um, and we got two extra units that can be applied. So, you know what? Let's add the extra plus one shredding. And I guess we'll add plus 15%. I mean, it seems like a pretty big get. We're going to ignore the supply drop for the time being to get intel. We got improved cannons. Plus one damage on cannons. It's not bad. Newton autopsy. Instant. Dude, sign me up. Now we can make the advanced grenade launcher and plasma grenades. Propel grenades further, grants a larger effect radius. Now that we may not have the loss situation, that could be a positive thing for us. Um, 
sure, Advent. I mean, it's just it gives us intel. We are gonna need intel, so sure I'll do it. But we we certainly need to construct the shadow chamber as well to keep the the game progressing here. But let's start with the uh, an intel gain. Power coils are powerful spaces for facility construction. Facilities draw no power. Power relays generate considerably more power. So if we built like a power relay here, that might be all the power. We're, wait, if we built a power relay here, I don't know. Let's, let's think about this. We're about to get more supplies, so I'm not super concerned. Um, it gives us 10 power. That's more potentially than we'll need for the rest of the game. So I'll tell you what. Go power relay and, and build it. Uh, we're about to get more supplies anyway. The, aliens continue to make the, lives of my the Twilight Scions have a high priority mission for you. Gather survivors from abandoned city. The Lost are here, does not bother me. The Warlock has been garbage so far, but that could change. We'll get an Engineer, 81 Intel, two Sharpshooters at Lieutenant level. That seems like not bad. I'll at least give it a try. I'm no longer afraid of the lost. To the least, basically. Oh, we'll need to be especially vigilant for all those units that uh, die in one hit and also have a chance to attack our enemies. Okay. Very difficult. Excuse me? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going to be tough. Uh, so we'll take Zhang. If we take Zhang, we should take Dan. They're bonded. If we take... Uh, Draganova, we should take Mox. And they're both not tired, so I think that's sensible. Rob is our best Grenadier, but we could also take Bear Taffy. So I'm going to do that. And then we have no specialist in the in the crew right now. So you know what? Let's go like way back and throw a little Austin on this. No, let's throw Malph in here, because we haven't taken him and he has the uh he's been respect to be half medical, right? Like he's He's like a little bit of a jack of all trades, master of none. Well, master of both, maybe. Yeah, he's got both of these and combat protocol. Sure. Send Malph out on this mission, um, and then do the standard. Let's start with uh, Zhang. So Zhang, load out. Please use the good shard gun. And then, in terms of your actual loadout, maybe like battle scanner, which we've never used. <laughs> Flashbang grenade. So you're close enough that you can land those with authority. Dan is going to be like... I mean, honestly, the weapon ve is important. If you go to, like, his Gauss rifle. But the um, the loadout that he has isn't really right now. Like, he should take a nanoscale and then maybe just the frag. Mox? Let's work in a different direction here. Because we know what we want Mike to have. Mike should have a good rifle. Sure, that's something. Um, and then he should have a med kit. And he should have a skull jack uh, for greater hacking ability. Even if he doesn't have haywire protocol, he might want to use the gremlin. To, can he use the gremlin to still hack like security terminals or something? I still think it's worth a shot, given that extra ability. Um, and then Bear Taffy is like straight up frost bomb. I mean, smoke is probably not necessary. So let's give him frost bomb, frag grenade, smoke grenade. Hold up. There we go. Smoke grenade, frost bomb, frag grenade. That's fine. Um, that'll mean that Mox will probably take a nano scale, and everybody else is relatively equipped. Looks good to me. Uh, we'll just make sure that Bear has the good mag cannon. Draganova has the good Tamnotic rifle. Should probably just stop making weapons available because it creates this situation. Oh, and uh, sorry, I, I also messed this up. Zhang should always be holding the Ionic Axe. Although we'll move it to Sinvicta once Invicta joins us on the missions. The reason we're using Zhang instead is because the mission difficulty looks tough, but also he has the relationship with Dan and Mox has the relationship with Draganova. So that's why we're. Uh, that's why we're using this particular squad. There's an advantage to us in doing so. We're so low on supplies. 
I think we've got very little to purchase. I mean... There's never been a better time. Let's go. Iona Grip Jack. If it has extra accuracy, that's even better than extra damage, in my opinion. What's the difference? Four damage versus six damage. Lovely. Sure. It had to be... Well, it probably didn't have to be purchased, but either way. We're off on this mission. I'm a little frightened, but also uh, eager to see how it goes. And we're about to find out. You know as much as I do at this point. Uh... The Chosen, I can't stress this enough, doesn't really frighten me yet. It's possible that we benefited from his logic being like 80% broken on the last mission, but it is what it is. We've had bugs as well, dude. It's the, the way we do business in this day and age. The ruins of Chicago. Oh, you mean Fremont Street? That's not in... That's in Las Vegas. That was just meant... Look, I'm not trying to be insulting to Chicago. I was making a joke. Vancouver's got its own problems. Wikipedia, the downtown east side. All right, we got a VIP there. It's Tommy Wiseau. Our highest priority is locating them first, but keep an eye out for any additional survivors nearby. If he becomes a faceless, I'm going to be very upset. Dude, you're in the extraction zone. Just leave. Okay, so first things first. Draganova's a big part of this mission. And I just had her there. Um, Draganova's a big part of this mission, because she's... The aliens may have cleaned oh, up it's the an villains, Archon. But these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Because Draganova can just conceal herself and, and grab all of the... enemies. Moving on target By enemies, I did not mean to say enemies. What I meant to say was... Uh, Daniel, please. Was uh, VIPs. Rolling out. The VIPs are not enemies. They're nice people in this Location situation. Control. Okay. So we're just we're taking a big move. What's what's your problem again? You're afraid of the chosen? Is that your You got some kind of psychological quirk. I won't let them pass. Overwatch. Overwatch. So the Archons can be a real problem. Um the loss scare me about 0%. This would be an okay situation in which to fit a Claymore into our plans. Especially if they're not moving. But I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to take that risk just yet. Let's do this. Jang should be close. I'm worried that as I get closer, they're going to be more likely to move, which may or may not be true. But we'll, we'll find out basically right now. So just everybody overwatch. If we can kill this pod, like I'm not sure if we've had a good pod kill once over the course of this whole freaking campaign. So if we can just kill these two aliens without causing too much of a scene, I'd be very happy. And you might be saying, well, is it not a scene uh, to summon the lost? I actually am going to say that the answer to that question is no. I don't think it's a scene to summon the lost because I am. Uh, a delicate place. I'm doing it in a position that I think is positive for us. Okay, so now we determine who is suited best where, and uh, I actually like Mouth is on Overwatch. He's a good Overwatch boy. Affirmative. Covering now. Mox is not. He's got other things that work better for him. Dan might be an Overwatch guy. Overwatch. You obviously shoot the grenade. Bear and Zhang do not. And Mox. Okay, so you are going to shoot the Claymore. This will summon the Lost, no question. We did a ton of damage, shredded a lot of armor, and did not unconceal ourselves. So I'm actually... Like, feeling real okay about the situation. We need to break concealment, though. Because if we don't... Um, that's not bad. If we don't break concealment... Dan won't get his overwatch. So I think you start with the, the weird whip move. Which is free. 
missed, but hopefully they're like, oh, geez, it's the cops, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they still have not moved. What's going on with that? Interrupt. Powerful form of Overwatch instead of firing automatically perform any single action. We don't need to use this yet. Probably something along these lines is much better. Wow, you are a garbage fire right now. Okay, you still, against all odds, have a shot. But you're probably in Overwatch territory. So Bear is like... To be honest, it's very tempting to just frag. If it summons another wave, whatever. It's going to get at least two Muton kills and then leave this other dude just hanging out. So, again, the Lost, not a problem. He just got two Muton kills with one single shot. A very positive situation. Plus, we gain an ability point. He's got 43. Zhang also has 43. I'm going to move Zhang close and then have him throw the axe. Didn't summon a pod, which is what I was concerned about. You got this, dude. Just grazed? That's bad, um, but it could be worse. This guy's still probably going to run. Well, I mean, geez, you probably just take the shot at 51, right? Flip a coin. Lucky us. Two dodges, uh, two wrongs make a right in this situation. We killed that pod relatively well. Sure, we're going to have, um, in all likelihood, two Lost Swarms to deal with. That's not great. I'm just using Overwatch instead of Interrupt, by the way, because the Lost are not worth using the one, one per game Interrupt. Um, so the Lost are going to be annoying here. But substan... Oh, right, we have stock. That's pretty good, actually. Um, but substantially less annoying than dealing with, you know, one enemy most of the time. One, one advent, I should say. Because um, it, it's free kills, free experience points, blah, blah, blah. As long as we don't run out of ammo too fast. Oh, no, it's the lost. Dan's still got a shot. He's just got no line. Oh, he finally got one. Nice armpit texture. Nine damage. That's probably good enough for a kill. What? It's a lost, like, superhuman. Fox got the kill anyway. Alright, so the Lost are getting tankier and tankier. Small price to pay for seeing them about, you know, one infinity as often. If possible. I would prefer to not break concealment. Just to fight the Lost, it seems like kind of a... Ooh. No, no, no. Okay, this is actually a problem. We got a real pod here. Unexpected. We're going to have to think fairly uh, fairly intelligently here. So let's first see what we want Mox to do. The answer probably uh, lies in the Ripjack. Oh, no kidding. It's a Lost. And it's some tanky Lost, but not that tanky. Plus, they aggroed the, the right dude from my standpoint. Rip jacking the alien is an 83% chance. So that's what we want to do. But first we want to kill any lost coming for us. Plus this dude gets an extra action regardless. As long as he's shooting. Don't shoot that lost. You might want to shoot that lost. But at this point I think you probably are going to go for the, uh, the rip jack. You know we don't need to kill every lost with one unit. Okay, we actually got him. We go for the slice. With a little bit of extra damage. And he's stunned for two turns. That's actually, like, really, really good. Dan can probably finish the job. At this point, we probably do want to send uh, Draganova in. I mean, because we're fighting Lost, right? Like, Actually, Fox is, like, the consensus choice. Five to seven? I got seven HP. No, 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 he's not. He's not. Dan's the consensus choice. That stinks, but it's not that bad because Dan's not like a frontline soldier for us regardless. As rude as that might sound. Um, so we're going to move Draganova very slightly. 
Obviously, that's a guaranteed kill. I think we know we're going to break concealment, but we accept it. And we start cheesing some of the lost who are likely to cheese us. Wow, that's extremely unfortunate. And we break concealment. So we might have to deal with some angry sectoids after this. I'm not very pleased by that. So what do we got? We got Fox. Fox, at the very least, should move. I think he should move to a place that's a little bit better. And I think he doesn't take the shot. I think instead, we have Bear Taffy finish the job. It never should have come to this, but it's the way the cookie crumbles. Intel. Yet, yet another Intel cache. Zhang uh, definitely comes around here. It's tempting, but I think you wait for the Overwatch. You go Overwatch. We, it was a very inefficient turn. And the aliens have a chance to do something. And they are going to attack me, which I think is shrewd. Uh, even if they mind-controlled Draganova, I'm not that worried. Mind-controlled resisted, but she's panicked. That is the better outcome, as long as she stays behind cover. She's even going to take a free shot, it looks like. Actually completely fine by me, but we're not going to be that lucky in most situations, probably. So what about the second sectoid? He's going to fight some lost, it looks like. Almost shot his buddy in the face. You got something to say, Mike? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so our overwatches are going to pop. I was really hoping they would pop on the sectoids, but so be it. Anything wiped off the map is, is a positive for us right now. Lovely. It's not always guaranteed you're going to get those uh, overwatches to hit, so... It's a big win, I would say. And this situation does not look that frightening. That sucks. So she's still panicked. It's not good, but I think life goes on. So, how do you start with this? Certainly, you go for the low HP, high percentage. Yeah, so that's a 40.5% chance. That's a 40.5% chance. This is a 76% chance. So I think you start here. And then reload. If you land it, which we should have made very clear. Um, then you start looking at other people's actions. Like, Fox is in a pretty good spot. If you say so. If you say so. I think he takes the 61% chance on the alien. Uh, because there's no reason for him to kill the lost. The lost are shooting, or, or rather, aggroing the aliens. So it's a, it's a positive for us to keep them alive here. Um, now, Dan can give Zhang an action. And I think that's where our life becomes a lot easier. Zhang moves in here and he goes, oh lord, that's a lot of people. Um, and at this point, he might start wanting to clean up the trash. So knock out a couple lost. Because as soon as the sectoids are gone... They're going to go for us. You see that? Burn it through ammo fast. Well, not that fast, though. Like, I, I would rather knock this guy out if possible. Lucky us. So we have cleared up the lost threat for the aliens. And that's not great. Let's rock. What we're going to do is reload. Um, and then, we got a little Dan Giesling action. I think Dan's going to move close enough that he can get a pistol shot next turn. And then pass his extra action to Zhang. And Zhang is not going to go for what you might think is obvious, which is the Blade Master. Instead, he's going to go for the, the kill shot. Like, what is this? 61. But it's only a third, so it's like an 18% chance to kill. This is a 64% chance to kill, so. You got to try. I, I'm not too mad about that. I am mad that I took care of the lost only for that to happen, but, you know, life goes on, dude. Similarly, 61. That stinks uh, pretty badly. However, I 
can handle that. It is what it is. So Bear is on Overwatch over here to basically cure us from the threat um, of the uh, the Lost. I didn't realize he was on fire, so he did die anyway. These guys might be able to land a shot as a result of my misses, though. They're going to go for the Mind Control. This time it actually hit. But that guy is absolutely destroyed on the next turn. Zhang is going to tear him apart. Going to give him a new Nitrogen Hole or whatever the heck aliens are dealing with in this day and age. So, this would be a great hit. Lovely. Not even close. No smacks, please. Oh, nice! What? Shot wide. My mind is mine. Luckily, we didn't get smacked anyway. Okay, so Bear... I mean, this is pretty much your job, my dude. Like, I'm a little upset you missed on the first one. But if you can at least redeem yourself here, then life's okay, as far as I'm concerned. Like, this should hit. And you're wiping out, like, seven people with one turn. I'm, I'm very happy about this. Do you still have a shot after this, is the real question. And the answer is... No. You have a shot at Mox. Don't do that. That would be... I would be upset if you did that. 10 to 12 damage on the slash. You absolutely take it without getting too deep. Melee vulnerability. Didn't know that. Or at least didn't remember. So that'll free Mox from the mind control. And we're good. At this point, we've taken care of everything. You know, we're gonna we're gonna be rocking some reloads, some overwatches, you know, we were ten or twelve enemies in. No wounds yet. Lucky us. Like sincerely lucky us. Reloaded. Cover me, I'm reloading. Draganova, we're gonna put back into uh shadow state. Not necessary. And we're gonna end turn, I think. Just to Reconvene, shall I say. We have another Lost Swarm. This is a one-turn problem. My failure is my own. These Brutes are getting quite tanky, I gotta admit. Fox won't let me down on this one. I could tell from where his scope was positioned, that was a lights-out shot. Oh, I... Jeez, it's like an Iron Man. Hey, you guys. Want to take the stairs when I've got a perfectly good canoe? Anyway, they're done. Just might not know it yet. Uh, it's going to break concealment to come up this way, huh? Well, we should have Bear do it then. We're just trying to get to the VIP, because we got to finish the mission. Like, it, it'll take us 80 years, apparently, but... Is this not, like, exactly the situation in which I was caught against the Chosen earlier? Not that I think the same thing's going to happen. Like, it's looking pretty good. I'm just saying for... You want some more? For callback's sake, you know what I mean? Alright, we know there's going to be lost. Who's keeping score? We're like exactly 0% concerned. Reload. Send a rooster in. I guess that'll be okay. I guess that'll be okay. Not necessary for anyone else to really do anything at all, to be honest. Everybody else can just exist. Bear could probably take a yellow move, to be fair, but... I am me as we are here, as he as we as we are out together. My name is Pradle Mox and it sucks up. Oh, hey, now you can't say that. Yeah, yeah, that, that looked normal. That looked natural. It's the danger with Overwatch is that sometimes you end up in this situation where, you know, you have 80 enemies spawn uh, 900 miles away. 
and you burn your Overwatch on some instantiation, which is not ideal, but doesn't matter too much. These are one frost bomb will wipe them all out just to create more, I suppose. But we're not in a bad spot, at like actually at all. For example, uh, what is it? it's higher elevation means Dan can go forever here. Who's our who's our high damage unit? It's Bear, unfortunately. Well, and Jang. Menace one five. You've got the primary targets in tow. Secure any additional. This should be possible, like. Sure this should be gross. Assuming we, if we miss on one of the early shots, we're in trouble. But if we don't, we should be like running down a dream. How many is that now? It, very good question. Just keep it up, dude. Definitely should have shot at the 3 HP unit early. That would have been really bad. You, can't handle me. you also can't handle uh, the truth. Maybe you've heard That's of it. it. Hey, Ruka. Don't go behind there, buddy. Being a very mischievous cat recently. For reasons unbeknownst. It's not like cats have a reputation for being curious or anything. Alright, and that's a, a pretty good illustration of why I will never be afraid of the Lost. We actually have killed like seven. <laughs> he just keeps going, dude. Is that your last action? He's still... No, no, no. He's just got the free move from getting a kill. Again, that's why I won't be afraid of the Lost. Because we just essentially got, like, infinity free kills. Now watch Mox miss on the first shot. <laughs> now we're just going to wipe the Swarm. And then uh, once the Swarm is wiped, we might consider moving a little bit uh, forward. Oh, that's a big bummer. At least it hit, though. I mean, it missed, but at least it hit uh, with the stock. So we're going to um, not move forward yet with the uh, VIP because it could right. alert the loss to the idea that there is a uh, a dude up there. I'd rather avoid that if possible. What did you expect? But we basically like killed an infinite amount of enemies right there. Please don't trigger a pod, but if you do, I think we got the tools. Okay. So extraction and our remaining VIP here. We don't know where the other resistance operatives are to the best of my knowledge. On my way. Out. This is looking like a pretty easy mission. Bear might as well get close. Jang might as well get close. Here I come. Fox isn't doing I'm anything important right now. Might as well reload. Oh, yeah. Like the lost are a joke at this point. They've probably been a joke for a long time, but... At first he gets scared. He goes, oh, zombies. If he gets scratched, it might be a problem. Turns out... Not really, to be honest with you. That's not a surprise, regardless of the degree to which it upsets me. So, uh, Draganova is going to be our forward scout. I'm on the move. And we do have. No, we do not have. We do have aliens. Okay. Aliens are a problem. I'm just trying to ensure we don't no accidentally problem, trigger a pod. That is not the kind of pod I was thinking of. Oh, it's another resistance operative. I did not even see you there. Okay, so let's... Hopefully we can just wipe uh, all these lost with Bear. He's got the ammo for it. Everybody else can move up a little bit. Not we'll tackle enemy. this lost pod and then the pod that spawned when the car exploded. Did you see that one? Did you see that one? You don't need to brag, Bear. I see you. You're doing good work. Nothing to concern well, yourself with. That? Well, how about that? That's a good attitude to have. All right, Jang, close in. Oh, that's okay, such a bad move. That, that irritates me. I clicked on the right spot, but you know, uh, no problem. 
All right, Mox, get a little closer. Get a little closer. Daniel, move into sniper territory. You go on Overwatch. If these guys move, they move. Maybe we don't have to fight them. But if they come into our vicinity, we're going to want to, you know, dice them up pretty quick. Okay, so they have triggered. I don't think they'll get an action this turn. This would be 10 out of 10. Lovely job. High damage plus the shred. Oh, it, it just killed him. That's very good. Nailed it. I suppose. I can't. I have to infer it from the data on the screen, but still. In case it's not abundantly clear. Are we going to burn in here? I don't think so. Number one priority. Killing these aliens. So we'll take the... We could have done, gone for the higher damage, lower percentage shot, but we pretty much handled it with Dan there regardless. Uh, he get a, gets a hair trigger free action as well. So in fact, he'll, he'll probably have two free actions. Kind of just want to wipe the slate clean with him. Like if I can get him over here and then have him take a high percentage chance to get the kill. Lovely. As far as I'm concerned, your turn is 10 out of 10. Now, this sectoid is kind of an interesting conundrum here. I don't really want to trigger a lost pod unless I absolutely have to. Could suppress you, so let's let's keep that in our back pocket. I'm going to do a run and gun. It's an extremely valuable move. Uh, that I have not used, like, at all yet in the entire game. So, we're going to send Zhang up behind this half cover. I mean, it's like six versus one. The idea is that he's done. Didn't quite get the kill, but the damage means that a frost bomb will absolutely get the kill. The next question is, can we get mouth into a uh, safe damage area? And I think the answer is probably no. Mox, absolutely. Draganova could just do it right now. Um, and in fact, I think she should. 72 is good enough. Well done. Now, ho hopefully she's not unconcealed. It would be better if she stayed concealed. She had a 0% chance to unconceal. That's really great. <laughs> that's just that's just peachy. Okay. So we're, like, completely set again. Um... I do worry that we're going to have uh, this resistance operative is going to get killed. It's definitely like a second order priority, but if we can keep the resistance operative from being killed, I'd be much happier because we could just add them to our squad. We're almost done with this mission, and as of right now, it's been pretty much textbook. Except for the infinity zombies, which are extremely annoying. But at least it's a sit rep instead of a permanent reality of our existence. I was really hoping to use our overwatches on the lost on the right side. Because they're the ones that could potentially hurt the resistance operative on the other shipping container. Eh, whatever. So be it. Bear is the MVP. Bear, you just, you're 100% on the photo. I think it's Bear and, uh, and Draganova. Draganova's initial Claymore attack was extremely positive. Oh, spotted flanked enemy. No kidding. That's an enormous surprise. Um, Dan sees almost nothing. So we're going to move him into pistol territory. And he might be, like, the dude who takes out the trash. Like, this is 100%. But if any units are left for cleanup, he's got infinite ammo to take care of it. This is a 50% shot. We probably shouldn't have even taken it, but we thankfully got lucky. You just earned a promotion as well. That shot will not kill. But that means if we mess up and this one somehow doesn't kill, Dan takes out the trash. Look at that. Dude, it worked. What, what a hilarious plan. Have you tried not sucking so bad, Draganova? Might make your life a little bit easier, you know what I mean? 
I didn't mean it to be a double entendre. It came out kind of offensively, and that's my bad. Either way, Zhang is sitting fools down. Promotion earned. Major level means we can go for the third level, I think. Of, uh... Of, uh... Those, like, chosen missions. Yeah, we're gonna need to absolutely keep upgrading our weapons tier, because, uh... We're not quite getting the job done. This was not a smart move. Who is your relation is to Draganova? I mean, you can't shoot is the thing. So, I mean, you could rip Jack a Lost with one HP. That's actually one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. You could also move towards one of the Lost with the Rip Jack. That's actually an even worse idea. You might as well give away your free action this turn. Otherwise, you're just going to reload and waste it. Uh, yeah, also, come get some. Camera, what are you doing? Alright, so the Lost are screwed. They're just going to walk out here and, and get destroyed. We'll go rescue the personnel on the right. We'll go rescue the personnel on the left. And the mission will probably be over. Great shot, Jang. My baby shoots the morning Jang. He shoots a lost on turn left. It doesn't really rhyme. Levang. What's the corpse is littering the battlefield? Draganova has leveled up. That's pretty big. Bear Taffy never misses. I've never been less concerned in my life. He just sits zombies down all day, every day. That's his job. I think it's a... Oh, it's a Mox job. Dude. <laughs> you're not gonna let me just walk up there like this? Fine, I'll grapple. Because he's blocking the ladder. Should have had him reload, but I'm getting a little impatient is probably an apt way to describe right it. There. Hopefully that doesn't pop a pod. We're gonna hold off for like a second here just to see... Oh, really? You're in XCOM. What's your nickname? Uh, Shooter? Yeah, okay, buddy. Whatever you say. We're basically just going to get out of this mission as quickly as possible now. Because I think all the aliens are dead. Generally speaking, that's a pretty good way to determine whether or not your XCOM mission is done. It's whether or not all the aliens are dead or not. There are no additional VIPs nice. or yeah. operatives working in that area. You should be clear to move for extraction. Here I come. So we took six, rescued two. So we're gonna be like almost full up here. No, we got why do we have wait a minute, that was not a good move. <laughs> alright, alright, you go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we actually have nine? We get three VIPs? Yeah, no, that's true. We got the VIP and then two snipers. Fair enough. Okay. Dude, this is a huge success. We got free recruits. They're not really recruits because they're squaddies or lieutenants, but still. Um, and then we got the VIP, so we'll get the intel. Got some promotions. No wounds. This is fantastic. I was just skeptical. I was skeptical the mission was going to be considered very difficult. It just seemed like a little on the easy side. We did get introduced to Archons, which, I mean, we didn't really get to see him do anything, but still. So, mission photo, you're going to be looking at a duo. Don't make me laugh. You're going to be looking at Bear Taffy, who was ice cold. And then we're going to be looking at Draganova, the shadow. There you go. 10 out of 10. The frame rate is garbage right now. I think it's uh, related to there being 50 to 60 lost corpses that have to be uh, still maintained in the video, but... Love. Don't give me that propaganda. Five promotions. Okay. Deep cover. If you did not attack Hunker, or if you score a kill, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Sign me up. Why are you shaking for 12 days? That scares me. 
Dan's tired and that seems right. Take a reaction shot against any enemy that moves or attacks within a cone of fire. We don't need face off. It's a pistolier ability. 19 AP. Fire a shot in shadow guaranteed to remain in shadow. Kill shots increase crit chance by five to a maximum of 20. That's also great. An extra utility slot. So maintaining shadow is really important. I do believe that. Getting to 20% kill, or 20% crit chance is also amazing. But I'll tell you what, guaranteed concealment is, is pretty nice. Oh, Bond leveled up there. Bear Taffy. You did great work. Hollow targeting is fine. And then Fox will have you take Field Medic. Lovely. We are stronger Lots of great value there. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Please stop this. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.